gore whores, and fellow deadites, and welcome to our life in horror. We have not a new segment, but it's kind of like another collectibles edition. Um, this is actually going to be um, based on one master prop maker, I guess, replica maker. His name is Matt, and he, you can find him at uh, Surreal Underscore Studios on Instagram. A great guy. We met him at Frightmare on the Falls about two years ago, I think, and he was selling some props, and I fell in love. Uh, unfortunately, at the time, I couldn't get anything, but the next time, I made sure that we got the prop that we wanted, and it's in absolutely incredible. So I'm here to show off some of his props, and you can message him. He's very friendly. He does. Uh, he will do whatever he can, essentially. So. Um, I'm trying to think of the word that I would use. Um, commissions. He does uh, commissions for people if you ask him. And you can talk to him. He's great. He loves horror movies. He's a big monster uh, creature feature fan. So if you give him the challenge, I guarantee you he's going to be up for it. But I figured we will show off some of his stuff that we've gotten. And we are going to start off with our little Christmas gift that we got last year from Matt. Um, this is a Krampus bell. <laughs> so this is one of our commission pieces. We actually asked Matt to make this for us because we have always wanted a Krampus bell on our tree. And it looks amazing. Look at the detail on there. It's nice. It's rustic. It actually jingles. Uh, you can see it's got Krampus on there. We got some nice little designs on the back. It's a really nice piece, and I'm really happy that we had it. And we got to hang it up this year for Christmas, and it just made our Christmas tree that much better. Well, with the Krampus bell out of the way, I know that's something you guys haven't seen, so I thought I'd show you that because it's it's tiny. We don't put it up in our our uh, background videos very often so but you can see a lot of the stuff that we usually have is gone that's because they were stuff that was commissioned or made by him so there's the krampus bell i think it's fantastic i love the krampus movie it's great check it out and the next one that's going to be on our list we'll put this up here as a teaser i guess if you haven't figured it out yet but it is the creature from the black lagoon replica uh, I'm going to say fossil hand that the archaeologists find in the rainforest. It's just, this was the first piece I saw. And I was just like, oh my God, I have to get this. A creature from the Black Moon is one of my favorites. It's incredibly detailed. We're going to get some close ups here in a second so you guys can see just how detailed it is. Exactly as I found it. It's amazing. It's incredible. Could it possibly belong to a Pleistocene? As you can see, it, it comes on this beautiful stand that he made himself. Um, you can just see in the detail. I can't really see because it's, it's in front of me. But all the little nooks and crannies of the fossilization that would be there. Like, I'm looking at it from the back, and it's just so insane how little, like, how he was able to define every little detail. Every crack of this fossil is accurate to the movie. It's and I think uh, as far as I know, he's the only one doing them. Even if he like, if he might not be doing them on a regular basis, but if you ask him to, he will make you one. Because I know he's a, just as much of a fan of this movie as I am. So it's definitely one of my favorite pieces for sure. All right, so there's our creature from the Black Lagoon hand. I still can't get over how good this piece looks. I fucking I love it. I would have this everywhere in the house, but Sam wouldn't let me. <laughs> um, so then we'll move on to our last piece and I know a lot of people have been asking about this and I just so happened to have the Scream Factory box set as well so I had to get up here and show that off because I am shameless but here he is I don't even have a name for this little fella I should have named him but here is our it's like a full size scale fucking replica of a critter he said to fluff him up, but I, I never I never remember to fluff him. Uh, but he is just incredibly detailed. He's even got like three of these little, like, I'm going to say they're like moles on the side of his hands, and they just look fantastic. He's got rows of teeth. There's not just one row. There is a few. He, like, every piece of fur is just awesome. 
Um, and let's see if I can find the button. His eyes light up. And it is fucking cool. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So um, we'll come up and we will get a close up. Those hungry hairballs from outer space. Into dinner. So you can see just how incredibly detailed he is as well. Like I said, there's rows of teeth. He's got the wrinkles on his face. There's moles all over this little critter. He makes all of these custom stands himself. Uh, and they're like, they just go so they each will go with the piece that they're with. So they're custom built to the piece. Um, this is an amazing piece. I know he also does a gremlin baby hatching from the egg as well from critters too. Um, I know he's been doing a little more of those lately than the big ones, but uh, if I know if you ask him to, he will definitely probably get you one. Um, and he shows you how to work the back um, because it does take batteries and there is an on and off switch in the back. So he'll help you find it. So if you're not like me when you're trying to fumble around and try to find the switch. I think the critter is really great. It's huge. It's one of my favorites. I know everybody loves to comment about this and wonder where it came from and how we got it. So I thought I would just tell everybody how we did it. Uh, well, how we got it anyways, and that's from our friend Matt. Um, so yeah, those are our three from him. We were, yeah, it was really good. Um, I'll try to get all these in here, but somewhere where you can still see me. Um, you know, bust out this little Krampus one as well. So we can see that. Um, yeah, Matt's a really great guy. He does this, uh, just on his spare time and like, look what he can accomplish in his spare time. It's, uh, it's absolutely blows my mind. Um, he does go to Frightmare regularly, uh, every year he has pieces out. Um, he's also working on some new pieces, which we will get the show off first here at our life in horror which I am very excited about. It's from one of my new found favorite horror movies of the eighties, which I didn't think I was going to like it. And I ended up loving it. So we're going to get to show that off here soon. Uh, and you will have uh, quite a few of those at Frightmare in the falls in Niagara falls this coming year. Um, I definitely suggest you go follow him at surreal underscore underscore studios. That's like a fucking tongue twister. I swear. Um, but yeah, like, look what he can do. I'm, I'm actually going to ask him about commissioning a separate piece for myself soon. I know he's been bugging me to try to think of something. So I, I think I figured it out, Matt. I think I got it. And I'm going to let you know real soon once I've thought it all the way through. But yeah, he's a great guy. Go follow him. Send him a message. See if he can make whatever you want. Um, or if there's something that you would like made and see if, if he can get a hold of you and figure it out. But definitely go follow, like, and subscribe for him. Uh, he's, he's fantastic. And like and subscribe and follow for us, Our Life in Horror. Don't forget we're on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And yeah, stay spooky, guys.